this poem, The Forgotten War, is part of a series of poems I'm writing about the history of Australia from 1938 to 1953. And this particular poem is set in 1953. The Forgotten War was another name for the Korean War, uh, which ended with the signing of an armistice on the 27th of July, 1953. And over 17,000 Australians served in that war, of whom about 340 were killed and 30 were taken as prisoners of war. Uh, I've gleaned the material from this poem from various newspaper articles of the time, but also from someone's manuscript that they wrote about their Korean War experience, an Australian called Cole King. Uh, and as I read the poem, um, I am imagining that I am an Australian pilot in the Korean War. The Forgotten War. I remember. Vapour trails stretching the placid sky. A vermilion star blazoned on a silver fuselage. The graticule of the gun sight as my finger curled the trigger. White hot traces streaming over and under my wings. The roar of the slipstream giving way to absolute quiet. As in a trance I tumble and sway, Pressing the eject button, my parachute blossoms 39,000 feet above the Yalu River. Tied to a chair in the city square, I thought of meteors sheathed in their winter barnyard, porcelain teapots, Chinese soldiers freezing in rubber soled canvas shoes, a borrowed copy of From Here to Eternity shelved in my packing crate bookcase. At Pax Palace, we nearly forgot ourselves. Fragments of broken mirror and a shredded May West jacket, our only clues. Summer unveiled an ancient temple, teetering on a wooded slope, never marked on the relief map, we were told to learn by heart. The abstractions of snaking supply routes and steep-sided valleys, replaced by shoelace and string lassoes, the squawk of a captured chicken. As we cooked up elaborate menus, American mates cried out, swollen tongues wagging, go on, say it, Aussie, steak and eggs. Carried through the gate to freedom, I only return in dreams, not always nightmares to the 38th parallel. Having almost learned to love room girls in their freshly laundered floral dresses, throaty merlins, shooting stars, and the welcome persistence of plum rain. Mm -hmm.